Hey, it's Angela from the blog AngelaMarieMade.com. Today I'm going to show you how to build our DIY toy box. When our baby boy turned one a few months ago, his toy collection started getting out of control <laughs> and we realized we needed more storage for his toys. So we decided that a toy box is the perfect solution. For this toy box, you can get a full cut list, material list, and tutorial on my blog, which is linked below this video. But for the frame of the toy box, we used half inch thick plywood that was pre-sanded and formaldehyde free. And for the legs of the toy box, I used these really beautiful three by three boards that I found at Liz. Also for the hinges of the toy box, I used two regular hinges and then I used a safety hinge that is slow closing and I'll link below exactly where I found those hinges from. All right, let's get started with this DIY toy box. Step one is to make the initial lumber cuts for the toy box. We had our initial rip cuts for the plywood done at the home improvement store and then we made the remaining cuts with our circular saw and straight edge guide. You can also use a table saw. You will need to make plywood cuts for the two sides of the toy box, the lid, the front, the back, and the bottom of the toy box. For the 3x3 three three and 1x2 cuts, use a miter saw. Again, you can get a full cut list for all of these on my blog, which is linked below this video. Step two is to add pocket holes to the boards using a Craig jig. Add pocket holes on each side of the four plywood boards that are being used for the two sides and the front and back of the toy box. Step three is to assemble the side frames of the toy box. Make sure that the back of the plywood is flush with the back of the one by two. We used quarter inch scrap wood to help with this part. Attach one plywood side frame piece together with a one by two board on the top and the bottom of it using a drill and one inch Craig screws and some wood glue. Repeat this process for the second side frame piece. Step four is to assemble the front and back frames of the toy box. After the front and back frames are assembled, Add a one by two with wood glue and one and three quarter inch self-tapping screws on top of the bottom one by twos on the back side of the front and back frames. This is to create slat supports for the bottom of our toy box. Now it's time to build the toy box lid. The lid needs to be assembled the same way as the side frames and back and front frames, except that we need to add 1x2s along all sides of the lid. Attach all of the 1x2s with 1 inch Craig screws and wood glue. Use clamps as well to help. Step six is to attach the front and back side frames to the toy box legs. To attach the toy box together, start with the front frame of the toy box and place it between two three by three leg boards. We want the front and two side frames to be inset a quarter inch, so we placed our quarter inch scrap wood under the front frame 
while attaching it to the legs. Also, the front and two side frames need to be attached a half inch down from the top of the three by three legs because we want a half inch gap to remain under the lid to leave a gap for fingers. Attach the legs with wood glue and Craig screws. We used our Craig clamp to help with this part. Next, attach the back frame of the toy box to the other two 3x3 three three legs. For the back frame, which is a half inch longer than the front frame, we need to attach it at the top of the 3x3 three three legs so there is no gap. And don't attach it with a quarter inch inset either. This is because we need the back frame of the toy box to line up with our lid for installing the lid hinges. Now the side frames can be attached to the front and back frames. Attach the side frames to the 3x3 three three legs the same way as the front frame with a half inch gap at the top and a quarter inch inset on the front. We had to use our smaller Craig drill bit for this part. For the bottom of our toy box, we cut a piece of plywood to an eighth inch less than the width and length of our front and back frames. Then we marked on the plywood where we needed to attach one by twos to the board on the sides of it to close the remaining gap on each side between the three by three legs. Attach the one by twos on the bottom plywood board with one inch Craig screws and wood glue. After attaching the one by twos, flip the bottom board over and make sure it fits into the bottom of the toy box. It will sit on top of the 1x2 slat supports and be screwed into place. But first, we need to paint everything before attaching the bottom board, which we left unfinished. Now your DIY toy box is assembled and it's time to paint our stain. We painted our toy box Anchors Away by Sherwin-Williams. Step 10 is to screw the bottom board into place. After painting, we used one and a quarter inch self-tapping screws to attach the bottom board into the one by two slat support. Step 11 is to attach the lid and hinges to the toy box. Line up the toy box lid and make sure there is a one inch overhang on the front and sides of the lid, but no overhang on the back. Attach the toy box lid with surface mount hinges. We marked the hole locations for our three hinges and drilled pilot holes first. Then we screwed the hinges into place. We used hinges that needed to be installed from the back, but you could also use piano hinges or other hinges that can be hidden inside of the toy box.
Finally, we added a soft, slow closing hinge on the inside. We did need to attach a 2x2 next to one of the back 3x3 legs so the hinge could be installed closer to the back frame. I love how our son's toy box turned out. I think it's super cute and it's been perfect for storing his toys and he's really been loving it as well. If you have any questions about this DIY toy box, please let me know in the comments below or you can ask over in our Facebook group at angelamariemeade.com slash woodworkingforthehome. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you do make this toy box, you can share it with us on social media at angelamariemeade. You can get an extra entry in our DIY challenge giveaway for making this project. Enter the giveaway at angelamariemade.com slash DIY challenge. Please subscribe to my channel for more fun DIY and decor videos. Thank you again for stopping by and watching.